Hi, viewers. One out of five Americans now suffers from diabetes, a condition marked by persistently high blood sugar levels. Managing diabetes involves making mindful choices in every aspect of health and lifestyle, particularly when it comes to nutrition and hydration. What you drink every day plays a significant role in controlling blood sugar levels, maintaining overall health and preventing diabetes-related complications. Selecting the right beverages may help stabilize blood sugar, reduce cravings and avoid unnecessary spikes in glucose levels. With this in mind, let's explore the 11 best drinks that you may easily consume even if you have diabetes. Also, always consult with your dietitian before making any significant changes to your diet. Also, stick to the end of the video to find out five common beverages that you need to avoid for better managing your blood glucose level. One, water. When individuals with diabetes or those at risk consume adequate amounts of water, it may have a profound impact on their blood glucose levels. Firstly, water does not contain carbohydrates, sugars or calories, making it the ideal beverage for hydration without impacting blood glucose levels. Additionally, when blood sugar levels are high, the body tries to excrete excess glucose through increased urination, leading to a loss of fluids. By replenishing these lost fluids with water, individuals may prevent dehydration. If left unchecked, it may lead to a vicious cycle of rising blood sugar levels, further dehydration and even more severe complications like diabetic keto acidosis. Generally, a daily water intake of about 3 liters for women and 4 liters for men is recommended. 2. Unsweetened Green Tea the journey of green tea's impact on blood sugar management starts with its rich antioxidant content. Insulin is the hormone responsible for transporting sugar from the bloodstream into cells, where it's used for energy. By enhancing insulin sensitivity, the most impressive antioxidant present in green tea, epigallocatechin gallate, helps ensure that cells respond more effectively to insulin, thereby aiding in the reduction of blood sugar levels after meals. Furthermore, oxidative stress, a condition characterized by an imbalance between free radicals and antioxidants in the body, is associated with several chronic conditions, including type 2 diabetes. By neutralizing free radicals, green tea helps protect the body's cells and improves overall metabolic health, indirectly supporting better blood sugar control. Even a large study of more than half a million Chinese people suggests that daily consumption of green tea may lower the risk of type 2 diabetes. Typically, consuming up to three to five cups of green tea per day is considered safe and beneficial for most adults. Three, black coffee. Black coffee is more than just a wake up call. Although caffeine may increase blood sugar levels due to its stimulatory effect on the adrenal glands, which release stress hormones like adrenaline, the long-term effects of regular black coffee consumption may counterbalance this by enhancing metabolic function and improving insulin sensitivity over time. Beyond caffeine, black coffee is loaded with antioxidants, including chlorogenic acids and trigonelline. Chlorogenic acids, for instance, are thought to reduce the absorption of carbohydrates from the digestive tract. This slower absorption rate may prevent sudden spikes in blood sugar following meals, offering a more stable and gradual increase that is easier to manage. According to 30 prospective studies with over 1 million participants, those who drank around 5 cups of coffee per day had a 29% lower risk of developing type 2 diabetes compared to non-drinkers. Moreover, each additional cup of coffee per day reduced the risk by 6%. Generally, for most adults, consuming up to three to four cups of black coffee per day is considered safe and may be beneficial for blood sugar management. 4. Vegetable juice. Vegetable juice is rich in vitamins, 
minerals and dietary fibers while being low in calories and carbohydrates compared to fruits or sweetened beverages. Soluble fiber in particular is known for its ability to slow down the digestion and absorption of carbohydrates. This slower absorption prevents rapid spikes in blood sugar levels following meals, leading to a more gradual and manageable rise in glucose levels. Although juicing may reduce the fiber content compared to eating whole vegetables, incorporating the pulp back into the juice or opting for a blended vegetable smoothie may help maintain a higher fiber intake. Furthermore, vegetable juices also have a low energy density, which means they provide fewer calories for a larger volume of food. This may be particularly beneficial for weight management, a crucial aspect of diabetes control. Maintaining a healthy weight may improve insulin sensitivity and help manage blood sugar levels more effectively. In a study involving 10 healthy volunteers, the findings revealed that when the participants drank 200 milliliters of vegetable juice, their blood glucose and plasma insulin levels were generally lower at the time of eating the rice and 15 minutes afterward compared to those who didn't. A good rule of thumb is to limit vegetable juice intake to one to two servings per day, where one serving is typically around 240 milliliters. Five, almond milk unsweetened. Unlike cow's milk, which contains lactose, a type of sugar, unsweetened almond milk typically has less than one gram of carbohydrates per serving, making it an excellent choice for maintaining better blood sugar level. The journey of unsweetened almond milk in aiding blood sugar management starts with its low glycemic index, GI. This is particularly beneficial for individuals with diabetes as it helps maintain steady blood glucose levels and prevents the highs and lows that may occur with higher GI beverages. Furthermore, almond milk is high in healthy fats, particularly monounsaturated fats, which may help improve insulin sensitivity. When the body's cells respond better to insulin, blood sugar levels are more easily controlled. These healthy fats also provide a sense of satiety, reducing the likelihood of snacking on sugary or carbohydrate-rich foods, which may contribute to blood sugar spikes. A 12-week randomized crossover clinical trial on 20 adults show that about 60 grams per day of almond consumption led to improvements in glycemic control. Generally, two to three servings per day, with one serving being approximately 240 milliliters, are considered a safe and beneficial amount for most individuals. Six, herbal tea, unsweetened. Unsweetened herbal tea is a beneficial drink for managing blood sugar levels, offering a soothing, calorie-free alternative to sugary beverages. The specific herbs used in these teas, such as cinnamon, ginger, dandelion or peppermint, contain bioactive compounds that may interact positively with bodily processes affecting blood sugar control. For instance, cinnamon is known for its potential to improve insulin sensitivity. Ginger, on the other hand, may help with glycemic control by influencing glucose uptake and metabolism. Moreover, stress is known to affect blood sugar levels negatively as it triggers the release of hormones such as cortisol and adrenaline, which may increase blood sugar. By providing a natural means to relax and to stress, unsweetened herbal tea may indirectly help keep blood sugar levels in check. A study conducted on 64 participants aged between 30 and 60 years found that the group consuming chamomile tea, a popular herbal tea, showed a notable decrease in glycated hemoglobin levels. A key marker of long-term blood glucose control, along with reductions in serum insulin levels and insulin resistance. Unlike many beverages, unsweetened herbal tea is free from sugar, high fructose corn syrup and artificial sweeteners, all of which may disrupt blood sugar management. A sensible daily limit would be three to five cups, allowing you to enjoy the benefits without overdoing it. 7. Tomato Juice Unsalted 
Tomatoes are naturally low in carbohydrates, which means that their juice has a minimal effect on blood glucose levels. This makes unsalted tomato juice a great choice for those monitoring their blood sugar, as it may satisfy thirst and provide nutrients without causing significant blood sugar spikes. Tomatoes also contain important nutrients and antioxidants, such as vitamin C, vitamin E, potassium, and lycopene. Lycopene, the pigment that gives tomatoes their red color, may help improve insulin sensitivity, thereby aiding in blood sugar control. While unsalted tomato juice may be a healthy addition to a diabetes-friendly diet, it's essential to consume it in moderation. A reasonable daily limit would be 240 to 480 milliliters of juice per day. In a study involving 25 healthy women, participants consuming 200 grams of tomato juice 30 minutes before eating 200 grams of boiled white rice showed improved postprandial, after-meal, blood glucose concentrations. 8. Bone Broth the foundation of bone broth's benefit to blood sugar management lies in its high content of amino acids, particularly glycine and proline. Known as gluconeogenesis, glycine is essential for maintaining stable blood sugar levels, especially for individuals with erratic glucose levels or those who fast frequently. Proline, another amino acid found in bone broth, contributes to the maintenance and repair of tissues, including the gut lining. A strong, intact gut lining prevents the leakage of harmful substances into the bloodstream, which may cause inflammation and insulin resistance, a condition where the body's cells don't respond well to insulin, leading to higher blood sugar level. Long-term bone boiling has also been shown to produce a high concentration of AII, minerals, and proteins like collagen. These extracts may have therapeutic and positive effects on the regression of type 2 diabetes. While there isn't a strict daily limit, incorporating one to two servings of bone broth daily may offer the benefits without excessive intake. A serving is typically around 8 to 12 ounces, about 240 to 355 milliliters. 9. Lemon Water Lemon Water a simple blend of fresh lemon juice and water has become a popular choice for those looking to support better blood sugar management. Lemons contain vitamin C, a powerful antioxidant that has been shown to have beneficial effects on blood sugar levels. Antioxidants help combat oxidative stress, a condition linked to insulin resistance, the underlying problem in type 2 diabetes. Moreover, the citric acid found in lemons may slow down the digestion of carbohydrates, leading to a more gradual release of glucose into the bloodstream. This may help prevent sudden spikes in blood sugar levels following meals. While the effect may be subtle compared to medications or larger dietary changes, every little bit helps when managing blood sugar levels. Lemon water may also lead to more stable blood sugar levels by potentially improving insulin sensitivity over time. This means that the body becomes better at utilizing the insulin it produces, leading to more stable blood sugar levels throughout the day. Another indirect benefit of drinking lemon water is its role in weight management. Being overweight or obese is a significant risk factor for developing type 2 diabetes. Lemon water is low in calories and may provide a satisfying alternative to higher calorie drinks. This may aid in weight loss or maintenance, indirectly supporting better blood sugar management. Drinking the juice of one to two lemons diluted in water per day is a sensible amount for most adults. If you are consuming lemon water throughout the day, it's a good idea to rinse your mouth with plain water afterwards to protect your teeth. 10. Coconut Water Coconut water, the clear liquid found inside young green coconuts, has garnered attention for its health benefits. Its electrolyte content, particularly potassium and magnesium, plays pivotal roles in the body's metabolic processes, including the management of blood sugar levels. 
Potassium helps regulate heart function and fluid balance, which is essential for stable blood sugar levels, while magnesium is involved in glucose metabolism, aiding the body's ability to use insulin more effectively. Moreover, coconut water is relatively low in carbohydrates compared to other sweet beverages, making it a better option for hydration without significantly impacting blood sugar levels. Its natural sugars are balanced with its fiber content, leading to a slower, more gradual absorption of sugar into the bloodstream. This slow release helps prevent the rapid spikes in blood glucose that may occur after consuming high glycemic index beverages. For individuals managing blood sugar levels, a reasonable daily consumption limit would be one to two small glasses, 8 to 16 ounces total, of unsweetened pure coconut water. Exceeding this amount could contribute to higher sugar intake, counteracting the benefits of blood sugar management. 11. Protein Shakes – Low Carb Low carb protein shakes have become a popular tool for better blood sugar management. Protein plays a critical role in diabetes care for several reasons. First, it has a minimal impact on blood glucose levels compared to carbohydrates. Consuming foods high in protein may lead to a slower, more controlled rise in blood sugar, which is particularly beneficial following meals. This is because protein requires more time to digest and does not convert directly into glucose, unlike carbohydrates. Moreover, protein consumption stimulates the release of hormones like glucagon, like peptide 1 and peptide 1 and peptide YY, which have roles in promoting feelings of fullness and satiety. This may help reduce overall food intake and prevent overeating, supporting weight management, a crucial aspect of managing diabetes and prediabetes. Several studies highlight that higher protein diets improve blood lipids and fasting blood glucose levels as long as the participants have normal kidney function. It's essential to consult with a healthcare provider or dietitian to determine the appropriate amount of protein and overall nutrient intake as overconsumption of protein may be harmful to individuals with certain health conditions such as kidney disease. Now, let's look at five drinks to avoid if you have diabetes. If you have diabetes, it's crucial to be mindful of your beverage choices to help manage your blood sugar levels. 1. Sugary soft drinks Regular sodas are high in sugar and calories, which may lead to a rapid increase in blood sugar levels. They provide no nutritional value and may contribute to weight gain, a risk factor for worsening diabetes control. 2. Energy drinks These are often loaded with sugar and caffeine. The high sugar content may lead to spikes in blood sugar, while excessive caffeine may cause nervousness, insomnia and an increased heart rate. 3. Specialty coffee drinks Coffee itself is not the problem, but the large amounts of sugar, syrup, cream, and other high calorie additives in specialty coffee drinks may be. These components may rapidly increase blood sugar and contribute to weight gain. 4. Alcoholic Beverages Alcohol may have unpredictable effects on blood sugar levels. Some sugary alcoholic drinks may raise blood sugar, while others may cause it to drop too low. Moreover, alcohol may interfere with the effectiveness of diabetes medications and insulin. From the hydrating simplicity of water to the antioxidant-rich properties of unsweetened green tea, the 11 drinks listed offer a range of choices suitable for any occasion and taste preference. By choosing wisely and opting for drinks that align with your health goals, you may enjoy refreshing, delicious and nourishing options without compromising your blood sugar levels. Remember, moderation is key and it's important to consider how each drink fits into your overall dietary plan. We have discussed many drinks that help to lower blood sugar levels, but as we know, our daily diets play a crucial role in maintaining our overall health. If you are looking for more food-related videos, here's one we recommend you check out.
Watch 50 Foods You Must Avoid If You Want to Lose Weight. Or watch the 12 healthiest foods you should eat every morning. How many of the drinks mentioned in the video do you consume? Let us know in the comments section.